Hey Kevin here from DIYDwarf.com. Today I'm going to show you how to build a really cool stackable storage bench out of some pallet crates that I'll show you how to build. So check this out. This is a really cool project. All right, so what I'm doing is on the top three trays, so not the bottom tray, just the top three, I'm going to add these little, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, just braces, sleds, whatever. And uh, basically they're just uh, some scrap pieces of wood I had. They're three quarter inch thick. I think they're three quarter inch wide. They might be inch, but the size doesn't really matter. The uh, one thing that does kind of matter, so if you remember my base here, this plywood is 15 inches wide. And I decided to uh, cut these just a little bit shorter. So these are actually 14 and 3 quarter. That way there will be just a very slight 1 8 gap on both sides. So that whenever you shove them in, they're going to, you know, there will be just a little bit of room to move. And they're not going to be too tight or anything like that. So now all i got to do is uh, glue and then nail them down. And I know that glue, using wood glue straight on paint is not ideal. So I did not paint the bottom side. And then I also went through and uh, sanded the bottom here just to get rid of most of the paint so that there's plenty of uh, wood for these to attach. Now I probably should have done these earlier, but I just now realized I should add them. So I'll go ahead and just glue and nail them on real quick. And then I'll put casters on the bottom and then I'll show you how I build the top. Alright, so check that out. Looks pretty awesome. So now all I got to do is build a padded top for it. This thing will just about be ready to go. Alright, so I took all the trays away except for the top one and I want to build a top for it. Okay, it's going to be padded. So the very first thing I did, it's just so hot outside, I went ahead and just got it done already so that I could just get moving on the video. But the very first thing I did was I cut a piece of plywood to fit the exact dimension of the outside of my trays. Now this is an old piece of chipboard, it would work. Really anything, even particle board, whatever you want to use. This is just a piece of scrap that I had. And as you can see, it was a free sign from a while back. But I painted the bottom black just in case any of it would happen to show. All right, so then anyway, it will fit exactly here and then I'll be able to pat it. So what I'm gonna do is wrap it with some batting that I'll cut down to fit. And then I'll finish it with some material. Now, uh, this right here I thought was a cool pattern. It's a little thin. It's probably not the best thing for upholstery, but I thought it'd look cool for a video. But I'd recommend something a little more durable, maybe even burlap or an old flannel shirt or something like that would be kind of cool. But this is what I had on hand. So anyway, I'll wrap it like that, okay? All right, so then that fabric will be wrapped around the top here. This will be the bottom, so it'll fold over this way. And I'll staple it down and attach it just like I did in my six minute chair uh, makeover video. If you haven't seen that, it kind of shows how to reupholster pretty quickly. And then to finish all of those cut edges, I have this right here. Now you could use plywood, whatever you want. It's just half inch thick. It's an old piece of Ikea cabinet I think I had sitting in my workroom. So anyway, I just chopped it up. And uh, what I did was I cut it to the dimension of the inner plywood here, except I cut it about a blade's width thinner so that it has just a little bit of wiggle room so it won't be uh, too tight of a fit. And anyway, I'll be able to, once it's all wrapped, just set this down, screw it down, it'll finish off everything, and then it'll also act as a way to lock the lid into place. So I'll just go ahead and build it and show you what it looks like when it's all finished.
All right, and there it is all screwed on and fits pretty good. So I'll assemble it together. I might have one more trick up my sleeve and I'll show you what it all looks like when it's finished. All right, check it out. There it is all finished. Turned out really cool. Got the uh, colors all split up and of course the top is removable. All the trays are removable. You can stack them in any order you want except for the bottom one, of course, which has the casters on there. Uh, mine are about three inches thick. But you can make them as deep as you wanted. You can even make them like a double width or as long as wide as you want. I just kind of wanted to give you a general idea how to do something like this. I even like the end here with all the uh, holes cut out. I think that's pretty cool looking. And uh, my little extra bonus on top is I added some graphics to it, kind of like I did in my last video where I showed you how to um, add graphics to wood. And on this one, I added a little premium quality stamp to that one right there. And then on the other side is one that I made up myself. And that one says Farm Fresh. Imagine like a carton of eggs or something like that. But anyway, I use the uh, label method where you print on labels and then you can just rub it on with your hands. So if you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. Pretty cool. But there you go. Pretty cool little project you can do with some uh, scrap pieces of pallet wood.